Hi, welcome to KTW5 video tutorial. I want to do that spiral staircase exercise in Katia. It's a remake. And in Katia it's still not possible to make a pattern along a 3D curve. That's kind of very sad. You could do it with a knowledge wear pattern. So I had to go for a workaround. At least I can control that one with some parameters in some ways, like this, or I could change that angle as well. But I cannot change the step counter. I can change the step counter, but it will not change the amount of the risers. So Let's have some fun with Katiwi 5. Okay, so let's start with a sketch for the riser. Let's go for a positioned one on that plane. That's okay. Confirm. And as usual, Heidel's projected yellow elements. So I need a circle. And I need lines like that and I don't want to use this one so let's add some dimensions this would be 20 degrees this one should be aligned with that one let's see what happens yes and that point should be aligned with this one that's amazing. So put this one over there and it should snap. Yes. Let's trim and add a dimension for that circle and the radius should be 100. And leave that sketch. Now I want to use user parameters so let's do some. I need one integer, new parameter of type integer, and this one would be called the step counter. And the value should be 18. And apply. Then I need another one that would be an angle. That would be called step angle. And the value should be 20 degrees and apply. And another one that should be a length, should be up there, yes. And that would be the step height. And this should be 20 as well and confirm. Now I can use those parameters and I could change that sketch here. This value should be controlled by parameter. Right click edit formula, select the angle over there, confirm, confirm, leave that sketch. Now I want to have an extrude. Let's go for a Pad, and this should be controlled by formula and that would be the step height and confirm and confirm okay now I want to make a copy of that body so go for copy and paste special as result with link and okay and then I need to transform that body. So where are my transformations? There you go. I need to translate it in that direction. And the distance should be, of course, the step height. Confirm. OK. And then I have to rotate it as well. So go for rotation, confirm, 
axis would be the z axis and the angle would be that step angle and confirm and now i need 80 more bodies but you have always to copy the last body so select it Control c for copy and paste special as result with link and confirm it's selected so copy paste special as result with link confirm copy i think you get what you have to do paste special as result with link okay copy it's kind of tedious but apart from a knowledge web pattern or maybe a user-defined feature and that's almost like a user-defined feature there is no possible way to do it control c and a special result with link okay control c special result with link control c special as result with link and i will leave it with nine bodies and now i could and i have to copy these to the other bodies so control c for copy select this one control v control v Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. And if you want 18 bodies, you have to go for 18 bodies. So in order to save some time and to save you time, I've made a cut and I've copied the remaining nine bodies and pasted them special. And after that, I've copied the translations and rotations to all the remaining bodies. Now I want to have a new body, so go for insert body. And in this body I want to do a sketch on the XY plane. Confirm. And as usual I will hide those yellow projected elements. Like this and let's draw a circle diameter should be maybe 50 and that point should be on the x-axis coincident and on the y-axis coincident leave that sketch now let's make an extrude with that sketch here so go for an extrude with that circle here and the length should be of course the let's go for edit formula that sh should be the height of the step multiplied with the step counter and okay and let's reset this one to 20 millimeters and i'm done i know it's kind of tedious to do but besides the knowledge wear pattern there's no really good way to do it so hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fan page it would be very nice of you i want to give my likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye